guys, it's Kara. Super casual video today. Uh, I had something I wanted to show you besides Violet. Here's Violet. Say hi. She was barking when I started. Um, I did a giant amount of shopping at TJ Maxx and Marshalls right before the whole uh, closing of the stores back in. For us, it was mid-March. And I was at the stores like two to three times a week as you would have seen from all of my TJ Maxx and Marshalls videos at the time. Um, I accumulated in about five and a half weeks two of these um, plastic containers full of products. And what I did was that I put them into two containers because I wanted to show you guys at the end of a month what my monthly haul looks like from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. By the time March rolled along, um, as you might know, uh, I got sick with the thing that was going around. So I didn't get a chance to stop all that video. I haven't even looked in these containers. I know that there's eyeshadow palettes and I also know that a couple of the things that were in here were my favorite finds that I ever found at TJ Maxx. Now, how did I not go in there and use them and touch them? Well, basically, I was sick. I've been sick for quite a while um, because of the thing that's going around. Uh, as you can hear, I'm out of breath. So because I haven't looked in here, I don't know what's in here. It's basically going to be like Christmas for me to go through my haul from February and early March. It's basically going to be like Christmas because I don't even know what is in here. So I just had Pat put everything from here into this laundry hamper thing uh, so that I didn't see them and he counted 51 items 51 that's a lot uh, I'm just gonna go through them oh I've been telling myself for weeks I had to do this so um, this is glow pop this is teeth whitening kit they're little vials they look like this this works so well because it doesn't have a nasty taste so I really love this stuff $8 on super clearance. Those yellow tags are like the super, super clearance price, but they look like that. And these are really expensive on like QVC. They work super well. So this I recognize, Precision Beauty Acne Treatment Drops um, Dots. $2.99 for these. Pat's here in the room with me. <laughs> Cat. This is Peter Thomas Roth, uh, the Hyaluronic Happy Hour set, 22 original price. What did I pay for this? Um, Seven dollars. So this was on clearance also, and it comes with a cleanser and a moisturizer. Sofax. This is the Revolution Sofax, the Extra Spice Palette. And I had heard it was $5.99, and I had heard that this was a really good palette when it comes to Revolution palettes. I haven't used a lot of them myself, but I heard that the Sofax Extra Spice was really a good one, and I just want to try it out. I want to try out Revolution. Oh, okay, this was my Bare Minerals uh, Bounce and Blur Blush. This is in Coral Cloud. I did take this out of the... Um, package and put it in my drawer and was using it. It's super pretty. Um, this is also out of the box. This is First Aid Beauty. Oh, how much was Coral Cloud? $7.99. And I remember when I bought this, I was just coming from Ulta and they were full price there for like $28 or something. Um, a color correcting cushion by First Aid Beauty. It's kind of like a foundation, like a cushion foundation, but it is color correcting, like in a little compact. $5.99, not great. Again, that one is in there. And see, <laughs> this is stuff I forgot about. Uh, Philosophy, the sweet ticket. Oh, this thing is heavy. Um, this was $28, clearance was $10. And it's Fresh Cream Body Lotion, Almonds and Cream Body Lotion, Apricots and Cream Shower Gel, and what else? Raspberry and Cream Shower Gel as well. So, oh, and look, there's something stuck inside. Lash Boss, Boss Max. This is, it has a really weird, like, pink silicone little tip at the end of it. It's like, it's like a curly wand, but there's a pink thing at the end. This was like $2. 
So I said, why not just try it? It's Laura Geller, so I all the time. Laura Geller is so cheap at TJ Maxx. So what's that, about eight items? Like 43 to go. What do we have in here? Oh, I bought this for a family member. Uh, Grown Alchemist. This, I believe, is a Sephora brand now. Um, four ounces. This is the Intensive Body and Exfoliant um, Activated Charcoal Body Exfoliant. Only $4.50. And yeah, prices at Sephora are much higher than that. And this was a little kit that had a tiny little um, pink strobe light. There were supposed to be three pieces in here, but there was only one. It was a little tube of pink strobe light, which I love from MAC. Uh, this was only $4. See, I forgot about this one. Look, Sigma. Pat, it's like Christmas. Yay. Yay. Um, Sigma F86 Tapered Kabuki. It looks really dense. I don't know how I'm gonna use that. Oh, they're weighted so nicely. Um, this one, $9.99, super weighted. This feels like a Marc Jacobs brush to me. So, the tapered kabuki, what will I use it for? Um, another Precision Beauty Acne Dots. I think I bought one for me and one for a, the family member I mentioned. Oh, this is a blemish extractor. This is $3.99. It's those little tools that look like this that have a little loop on them. Hemp's. This I like. Uh, this is vanilla spice and what is it? Pumpkin spice and vanilla chai. This was on sale for six dollars. I think these are twenty-seven or something at Alta. Oh my god, this look. This was it. This was the holy grail find at TJ Maxx for months. This is the Hakuhodo Sephora Pro uh, brush. And it's only one brush. It's $6.99. These were really expensive at Sephora. Hakuhodo is well known, um, a well known Japanese handmade brush maker. And look at how nice this is. Uh, I think these might have retailed for 50 each. Oh my god, these are so soft. Um, so beautiful, and I think it's just multi-purpose. You could use it for blush or whatever you want, but holy cow. So soft and so nice. To all my TJ Maxx searchers, you probably remember these Hakuhodo brushes in all of my time of shopping um, during that time in the spring. It, this was the only one I ever found. I never ever found any other ones, and when I saw it, I grabbed it. So, let's, and now I get to use it, because I finally unpacked it. What else do we have? Um, this is Philosophy, the Micro Delivery Anti-Aging Peel. And this was $29, and it is, the, what do they give you? They give you the peel and the dropper, and then they give you the peel pads. Look, there's something stuck in here. So, another thingy. This is Laura Geller Nude Kisses. This is a lip gloss in smooch. So, I have tried this formula. I like it. And... Pretty cheap. What was this? This is $5.99 TJ Maxx. Oh boy. I think I have this color like a hundred times over as a gloss. So I'm, I might have this exact same color in Laura Geller gloss. So a little swatch right there. Ooh, smells like vanilla. So another gloss. Can't go wrong, right? Pat, can we ever have too many glosses? More glosses, the better. The more glosses, the better, he says. Okay, yes. This is the MAC Aaliyah um, 9 Pan Palette. And this is, ooh, look at that, the purple. Ooh, good thing we, good thing we opened this when we did. The purple shade right up in that corner over there is like just ready to pop out of the pan. Um, this was on clearance. It was $19.99 and was on clearance for $7. But I love purple palettes. Love them. So that I will carefully place over there. Pat, what was your favorite thing when you were going through all this stuff? Um, the um, the uh, highlighters. <laughs> 
Where do you put highlighters, Pat? Wherever you need them. What what parts of your body do you put highlighters on? Um, your eyes. Your, you put them on your eyes. I'm going to try that. I might try that for my next video. Uh, this is e.l.f. the gentle peeling exfoliant. Um, I grabbed this. This was $4.99. I know it's $10, the e.l.f. site or anywhere that sells e.l.f. Um, it's very, very similar to the Peter Thomas Roth or the Saturday Skin Chemical Exfoliants. Um, has a little bit of a yucky smell to it, like florally, but at the same time where the Peter Thomas Roth is like $59, this is only 10 so it's such an affordable exfoliant. It works super well, and uh, instead of giving Pat my good stuff, I give him this to use. What? I heard that. I know. Pat sees my good stuff, and he's like, why do I use the stuff in the blue bottle? And I'm like... I don't know. <laughs> this is um, Pureology, another clearance find. This is $8 and it's giant um, because I don't go out much. This will last <laughs> a year. Um, it was so cheap because it didn't have a cap. So this is Pureology Style and Protect Lock It Down Hairspray. These go for like 20 bucks or something. It didn't have a cap. Who cares? Uh, eight bucks. Oh, oh, this was such a good find. There was only one, and I picked it up, and I was doing a YouTube video, and there was a girl who heard me talking to my camera, saying, oh my god, look what I found, and she came over to me, and she said, where'd you find that? Is there another one? She was looking everywhere. She was looking on the floor. Uh, what is it? Sorry, I keep talking. A full-size Laura Mercier translucent setting powder and the puff. I think the puff, they sell for like $13. The powder is like Forty and this was twelve ninety nine. So it's like holiday packaging, just like that. Why am I showing you that? It's like down here. I just have to find it. Um, so, and, oh look, there it is. And that's the powder. A little bit of different packaging there, and and it has like a gold cover, like a rose gold. But yeah, I'm excited. That was one of the best finds. This and the Hakuhoda brush. Unreal. Unreal finds. Um, oh, and then Bite. This is the French Press Lip Gloss. And yeah, I have for $4.99. So, woo! They carry a lot of Bite at TJ Maxx. And these are the ones that they um, smell like coffee. And this is the really pale one. And so this is the one called Flat White. And how about a little swat? Oh, see, this is really nice. This is like way kind of peacher than I thought. I thought it was just going to be like a kind of a tan, but it's more of like a tan peach. So nice. So nice. So nice. There were such good vines back then. A PMD. Pat, did you see this object when you were going through the through the products. Yes, I was wondering what you use that for. <laughs> it's a microdermabrasion tool. He just said, of course. Um, and you just um, sand blast your upper skin on your face and it looks nice. Um, it was only $39 and it did come with the whole set um, with the changeable heads inside that have the sandpapery stuff on it and this plastic cover that allows for a larger side to use it on your body um, and the charger had everything in it. it was only $39 and I remember that I found this like the very last time I was in TJ Maxx because the store was totally empty and then I later found out it was because everybody was at the supermarkets buying food because that's what Pat told me when he got home. Brushes! I have two really got brushes. Oh! Oh! Ooh, this is a good one. Sigma P82. This is a precision round brush. Everybody needs a good round brush like this. But while we're at it, um, Laura Mercier, the Cheek Color Brush. Check this out. Uh, this was $12.99. This one was $7.99. Here we go. Yay! Oh, it's so good. It's so soft. It's super dense, too. 
I think this would be a really good packing brush to just get um, the highlighter on your lids. Right, Pat? Is that my plan? Highlighter on your lids, yeah. yeah. To get the highlighter on my lids. Pat says so. Um, and then this one, so nice. This is my only Laura Mercier brush and ooh, it, it is so good. Look at the color of that. Look at that, how oh, it's like reddish. And oh, it is so nice. Ooh, I'm going back in. 20 minutes of pulling out products. Um, another one, Bite French Press Lip Gloss. This one's in Dirty Chai. So I did have a few shades. Look, I got like, the whole sh collection going on my hand. This one's darker, but still really nice. Definitely warm toned and so nice, especially for like fall. And they smell like coffee. And if you don't like coffee, I don't drink coffee myself. Um, if you don't like coffee, the scent of it does go away um, rather quickly, rather quickly after a few minutes. Uh, then I found Bare Minerals Bare Pro 18 hour full coverage concealer. This is a twist up one. This was $5.99 and they had exactly my shade, which was Fair Cool. And yeah, it looks like a thin lipstick, slim lipstick. And right about here. Oh, oh see? I should have opened this like at the beginning of the summer. Okay, Clinique Moisture Surge CC Cream Hydrating Color Corrector um, SPF 30. I bought this, I said this is gonna be great for the summer in February when we thought we were gonna be outdoors in the summer. But uh, I checked the shades online and this one was in very light. It was $24. Clinique doesn't go for a super low price at TJ Maxx. Again, like maybe 50%. And this was the clearance price, $24. But the fact that it was in my shade, I had to have it. Why not, right? There we go. And I will be using this for the rest of the week. Sealed, thank goodness. So, guys, let me know down below what's your favorite find in here. I, I still think it, for me, it's the brush, the Akuhoto. Maybe this guy? Not quite sure. Still looks a little bit dark for my ghostliness, but it's because of CC cream, you just sheer it out. Sheer it out. Yes, yeah, it just smells normal. That is a nice product. I'm going to be wearing that, like, every day for the rest of the summer. Um, oh, Cover FX, the High Performance Setting Spray, $4.99. Um, I might have a couple of these. <laughs> I think I have this one, and I think I have the Dewy one. What I like about these is that there's no alcohol in them, and I did see this just recently at TJ Maxx, so it's not like... All this stuff is gone. Stuff comes, it goes. They restock it. it. Has little metal balls in there, and super fine spray. Is currently my favorite um, setting spray. No alcohol, no scent. It is my favorite setting spray for sure. Oh God, we're still going. Uh, Laura Geller, Color Drenched Lip Gloss. I'm starting to look like, who bought all this stuff? This is on $2.99. This is in Melon Infusion. Another lip gloss. Yay. Oh my, who bought that? Really? I did? Come on. Come on. Pat. I didn't buy it. <sighs> that. Why? Why? Why did I do that to myself? I, I, don't, I don't know. Um, Laura Mercier, the Caviar Mascara. Uh, Caviar Volume Panoramic Mascara, full size, $6.99. Um, yeah, these are still there. Like, not the exact same ones, but I have seen this. <clears throat> I've seen this in the last uh, couple of weeks that I've been back at TJ Maxx. 
And that is the packaging. Oh, what a pretty vulgar. Look, it's like Christmas. $4.99. This is the pretty vulgar liquid eyeliner pen. And if you think their other packaging is cute, take a look at this. What? It's like a Ben Franklin inkwell pen. Look at that. So cute. And it is a felt tip liner. And ooh, it, it has some give. Like it actually bends when you write on yourself. The entire head of it bends. So not sure how great that's gonna be for super fine lining, but it's it doesn't skip and it seems really super easy to use. Another one. What do we have left? Okay, uh, Laura Mercier Silk Cream Oil Free Photo Finish Foundation. This one, $9.99, which is a good price. This may have been um, discontinued. This was in my shade, which is Vanilla Ivory. Um, Laura Mercier Glow Powder Brush. It's the one with the weird shape. I remember hauling this and then it, well, I remember buying this and then I was like, what am I going to do with this brush? Um, looks nice. See, it's one of those weird shaped ones. But I guess you're supposed to just do a little this action, but uh, ugh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll get much use out of it. Um, this one is $7.99. I was super excited to find that. I think you're supposed to use it with the glow setting powder that Laura Mercier has. Oh good, I just ran out of this. This is Elizabeth Arden. The Sheer Kiss Lip Oil was down to $3.50. And this is just in pink. I just ran out of this like last week. And that is it. Super comfortable. Ooh, I, I was just trying to squeeze it really hard because I've been squeezing my other one really hard like that. But it's like a thick oil that just feels really nice and it does stay on your lips. That's it right there. I just wear this around the house just all the time. And I thought the component that the top might um, be jumping off and it would be spilling out never happened. Um, this is great. I love this. And so that was a backup to the other one and then the NARS all day luminous weightless foundation and light to Mont Blanc I guess I found that in February um $14.99 and the box is empty because this I did put into uh, my collection and I do use that I've, I think I've used that for every video um the last several um Laura Mercier Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick I do not remember this one. This is in Soulful. So this was $5.50. I just said that, right? Um, I remember that the shade was really nice. Now it's coming back to me. Soulful. Because I think I looked, yeah, I looked them up online. Oh no. It's like a bubblegum pink. Why do, why do I keep doing these things to myself? Look, we have that. We have this. Sometimes I am off my game. It's like I exactly the color of Hubba Bubba. Anyone, anyone, anyone agree? Uh, Anastasia liquid lipstick milkshake. I think that I'm not even gonna swatch this because I already know what it looks like, and I saw the nudie shades for Anastasia. Um, the real light ones and I thought it was a great idea to buy this and no um, I'm not going to I don't think I'm going to end up using this one it's like the color of Jeffree Star Mannequin I think where it's just the color of your skin another one uh, cover effects dewy finish setting spray um, so this is the dewy the one I just showed you was the regular um, same deal really nice fine mist $4.99 um, no alcohol. Wait. The other one looked bigger. Wait. Look at this guy. He's only this big. If I didn't have so many products sitting next to... Wait. Did I... Oh, okay. So here's Dewey. Wait, which one's which? 
high performance setting spray. One is 0.33 ounce, one is one ounce. And I think TJ Maxx had them for the same price. Right. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, Pixie by Petra. This is the Invisible Lip Liner, which was intriguing. It's called the Invisible Smudge Stopper. I think I, I really need to try this one out. I think I tried it out once, but I don't know. It needed further tries for me to kind of develop an opinion on. So you would use this like a regular liner and then it's it's visible you can't see it uh is this gonna work i don't know but it was 3.99 cover effects anti-aging primer uh i saw this just last week at the store the marshall's 9.99 and the cover effects primers and setting sprays are in store right now currently so that is it i think these go for 30 something mac Yes, and I did find MAC lipsticks in the last several weeks. This is Powder Kiss and Mullet Over. This one is nice. So the packaging is the um, like soft touch, dull packaging of the Powder Kiss lipsticks. And this is that one right there. So just a really nice neutral. Neutrally, brownie, pinky, nudie. Um, I love MAC lipsticks. How much was that one? $7.99. Still going. I'm trying to go fast. NARS blush in the shade Impassioned. And I was impatient and took this and threw it right in my collection and started using it. This was $12.99. Um, they are at stores again. And Kat Von D in Double Dare. This one was $2.99 and had like this special studded uh, silver packaging on it. <laughs> Mark Jacobs, yes, yes. This Mark Jacobs Undercover Perfect Coconut Eye Primer. Yes. I haven't had a new eye primer in like, maybe six months. Look. And this is an invisible. Um, this one was $9.99 from Marshalls. What more? More acne treatment drops. Um, more MAC. Is this more MAC? Oh, okay. Another Kat Von D. This is in Love Craft, which is a super nice natural shade. This one, $2.99 as well. Have not been seeing the Kat Von D. We thought we were going to see a ton of them once they rebranded. Hasn't really happened at TJ Maxx. This is simple. Soothing Eye Balm. This is really good. This line for a sensitive skin. $4.99. I think you can... This is, this is a drugstore brand. What's down there? We have an Empty Lily Lashes Brush on Lash Adhesive. Uh, $4.99 in clear. I must have put this right into my drawer. Um, not wearing lashes lately. Nowhere to go. I'm going to stay away from the glue and the false lashes for a while. This is the MAC Satin Lipstick in Shrimpton, which is a nice nudie shade. We're finally down to like the last item. It's home decor. It's a Murano flower, which is very beautiful. Look at this. And it has a little stem on it, and the price isn't on it, but it was affordable. And I thought it would look nice here just on a window ledge. Can you see that? No. How about over here? Uh, with the nice light. So a little piece of glass and one final thing. Okay, so this is the last item. This is $12.99. It is a trio of um, glass, little trays. This is by the company, well, it's Coastal Collection Outdoor Living. They're made in Turkey, but look at how pretty they are. I thought that these would be nice just to, if they're small enough to put on a windowsill. And then we have another white guy here. He's more um, tan tones in it. 
And then the last one is this blue guy. So this might go like on the dining room table and this might fit pretty easily here on the windowsill. That is my entire haul. Six weeks of stuff from TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I hope you enjoyed. There were 51 items. Thank you, Pat, for assisting me and, and putting everything into the laundry basket. I seriously had not gone through there. I mean, obviously, I bought it, so I remembered at the time that I had it, but with many months going by, what, five and a half months have gone by, uh, I didn't remember every single thing that was in there. So it's kind of like Christmas. I get to use this. I get to use my Hakuhoto brushes and all this other stuff so thank you so much for watching this video please comment down below what's your favorite find um what you've been finding lately at your stores and um i have a lot of putting away to do of all of this stuff so maybe i will have a declutter coming up soon um but thanks for watching and i'll see you guys soon bye